Good morning, this is Kelo Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. As we get into the full swing of the holiday season, you may start to feel more stress and anxiety, maybe even depression. While this time of year is an exciting time for many, for others, the combination of cooking, buying gifts, and preparing for a family can take a toll on their mental health. If you're not doing good over the holidays, you need to get a hold of your primary care doctor. Um, they are their first stop. They can check and make sure nothing physical is going on. And if they do feel like counseling is something that would be beneficial, then they can hook you up and help you find a counselor. Schultz says it's important to recognize your stressors. Sometimes just getting enough sleep and exercise can help reduce stress. Thanksgiving may be over, but many of us will spend the next few days feasting on the leftovers. But there are some safety precautions you should take when it comes to storing that food. The USDA recommends eating the leftovers three to four days after you make it. Nobody wants to spend the holiday with foodborne illness, so it's best to just treat your food safely so that you can enjoy a healthy and happy Thanksgiving weekend. It's also important to reheat the food properly up to 165 degrees. If you don't think you can finish all the leftovers in the next couple days, you can put most dishes in the freezer. The South Dakota DOT and three local governments plan to provide an update next week on a possible alteration of a major interchange on I-29 near T and Harrisburg. The state, along with Lincoln County, Harrisburg T, the Sioux Falls MPO, and the Federal Highway Administration will hold a public open house meeting Tuesday evening from 5.30 to 7 at T-City Hall. This is being done to inform residents of the area on the status of the I-29 interchange modification study. To see more information on the open house, you can find this story right here on Kelloland.com. And turning now to get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right. Weather it is today, and we're looking at those temperatures hovering back into the 50s and 60s here this afternoon. Sioux Falls area included 50 is our going forecast high today, and I would say overall for Rapid City, middle 60s are likely. And there we go on that latest hour by hour forecast. Now, Today is mild, tomorrow not quite as warm. We're going to have a shift in the weather, a little northwest wind, still above normal for this time of the year, but you'll definitely feel that with highs uh, contained to the 40s in several locations on Saturday. What will the rest of the seven day bring us? We'll explore that coming up here in just a couple minutes. Thank you, Brian. Rapid City is hoping free parking in the downtown area will mean more people will shop locally this holiday weekend. The free parking runs through Saturday. It coincides during several events, including the holiday celebration and winter market at Main Street Square and the Festival of Lights Parade. The mayor is also proclaiming Saturday as Small Business Saturday in Rapid City. Small businesses in the Sioux Falls area are also hoping you'll shop local this holiday season. Earlier this week, city leaders emphasized the important role local businesses play in the economy. Store owners say you can find hard-to-find items at your local retailers while also making sure your money stays in your community. A long-time holiday tradition returns to downtown Sioux Falls tonight. Last year, the Parade of Lights was canceled because of the pandemic. But tonight, festive displays will once again light up Phillips Avenue. If you don't feel like going in person, you can watch the parade live from the comforts of your own home. Carol Land News will live stream the Sioux Falls Parade of Lights tonight starting at 7.30 Central Time. And that's not all. On Saturday night, you can also watch Rapid City's Festival of Lights live on Kelloland.com. Live stream for that parade will start at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. It's an exciting day at the WH Lion Fairgrounds in Sioux Falls. Riders from across the region will spend the holiday weekend competing at Midwest Motor Supercross inside the Expo Building. The event got its start in Brookings nearly 20 years ago before moving to Sioux Falls in 2018. Organizers have transformed hundreds of truckloads of dirt into a well-groomed track. Midwest Supercross runs through Saturday. The doors open daily at noon with practice and qualifying throughout the afternoon. The main events begin at 6 o'clock each night. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carsons. Brian? All right. Weather, as you see there, mild conditions today. That's how we're going to start this forecast. Tomorrow, you'll notice a little bit of a change, a little more wind blowing here across the plains. The dominant flow is out of the west-northwest and maybe a sprinkle here and there across parts of the region. But it's going to be very limited as we've been communicating most of the week. High pressure builds in Saturday night. That'll bring the wind down. It looks like a little cooler weather Sunday. We trim these highs just a bit here, maybe closer to 40 along Interstate 29. 
West River, though, it's still a mild Sunday, and then we gear up for Monday, and wow, off to the races we go. Mild weather, very common. Highs in the 60s in much of western and central South Dakota. We continue the up and down, but even the lower days are still above average. So that's why this map is painted in all the yellow and orange and red. See how Monday shapes up there? Very much uh, in the above normal category. And uh, as we flip the calendar into December, guess what? More of the same. There's a snapshot of next Thursday. And in the seven-day forecast, we're already featuring a high in Sioux Falls at 58. We'll keep an eye on just what this ends up becoming. But if this actually happens as forecast, I have a strong suspicion we'll be raising the highs even more. But again, you got to get all that to work together, and the timeline has to work out as well. Highs today, well, 50s and 60s there on the map, 65 degrees in Rapid City. Here's your seven-day forecast. Takeaway number one, it's dry. No mention of the rain or snow yet. Uh, we think 58 on Monday, another opportunity for 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. And for now, we'll kind of leave that alone, but just keep in mind that there's potential to be a little warmer in some locations. Aberdeen also looks exceptionally mild uh, for much of the forecast, the cooler days being Sunday and Tuesday. And when we say cooler, we're still talking close to 40 or a little higher. The numbers in Pier and Central South Dakota into the 60s again on Monday. Another chance of 60 degree weather on Wednesday. Rapid City 67 Sunday and more of the same going into the middle of next week. So no winter weather there. Check out details with our Storm Center update right now at Kettleland.com and have yourself a great day.